Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? God bless. Um, play with D Wood here again. Um, I'm doing something I haven't done before. Uh, basically, I tried a different technique for the dreads. So what I did is I actually used a product from BJV. Uh, here it is a. I did two things. One, I used a, a foam that they've got. Another one is I used is a, it's like a urethane resin, but it's really got a really soft shore hardness on it. It's only like 15. What I did is I used this for some molds for some other stuff I'm doing because it's flexible and will come off. It's really got a nice texture to it. I'm really impressed with the texture on this stuff. It has a nice earthy feel to it. So what I did was I went ahead and poured a skin mold in the dread in the dreads and I uh, let it set up and then I you know swished it around so it coated the whole outside of the dread and then I took and I put the foam down inside of that afterwards so it was kind of hollow so this like I said this is something I've never done before I'm going to go ahead and undo this so you guys can see what it did too. Now hopefully it's set up right and there wasn't any reaction and any, you know, but this is, this is what I like to do. I like to just experiment and see what happens and what comes up with it. So, here we go. You guys are going to see it firsthand here as it comes out of the mold. So, here we are out of the mold. Let's see what we look like. Okay. There's the foam. Got the foam coming out. I'm not seeing any of the skin coating on it yet. Now it's a little sticky, so I'm starting to feel. Okay, here it is. All right, it all settled back down to the bottom. And it didn't coat quite the way I thought it was going to. It's still a little sticky, but there it is. It's still got a set because it's been out, it's, you know, in there. But this foam, so the ends of it, this is pretty stiff. This is stiff here. And then the end of this is like really flexible. <laughs> so anyway, you know, like I said, I just got to try new things and, um, this came out, it's kind of sticky, so evidently it didn't, you know, it needs to cure out in the air a little bit more, so we'll see if this dries. It may have inhibited because of some of the mold release I had in there too, but, so this foam is really stiff, so I need to change the mixture on it, but if you look at it, let me do this here. So there you go. So that's a new experiment. It didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, but hey, it did something cool anyway. So I can color this black or whatever color I want. And then, so now it's stiff, but then the bottom has got this, you know, movement to it. But anyway, I got to let this dry and see if it dries out completely because like I said, it's pretty stiff right now or pretty sticky, pretty tacky right now. So I don't know if it had a reaction or something, but Anyway, um, there you go. First hand look at, you know, one of the experiments. And like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So what I may end up doing is, while this is sticky, I might take and throw some, uh, well, actually it did coat. I'm looking at it here a little closer. There is a thin layer of this stuff on it all the way up and down. So it did coat. Um, you just can't see it, so that's why it's sticky. The foam is actually dry as heck, but what I may end up doing is coating it with some powder, like some metal powder, and uh, see what that does to it, see what kind of look that gives it. But, okay, there you go. All right, take care. Blessings, guys.